If you've bought crypto in the last two years, your portfolio is probably down, so this video is for you. With all the craziness going on around FTX and Binance possibly closing down, and Dogecoin hanging on by a paw, See what I did there? In all seriousness, the crypto market is pretty bad. So I wanna give you the silver lining and a little glimmer of hope to be able to take advantage of some pretty cool tools that are at your disposal. And since you can't do anything about the fact that the crypto's down, you might as well take advantage of it. Especially if you have any stocks or any other investments that has made some money and you'd like to take that money out totally tax-free without using a Roth IRA and do that this year, you're gonna to wanna to listen up. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Nolan Goveo or Professor or G as my students call me. I'm a university professor that made this channel in order to make investing simplified and to start the research off for you to make your life easier. Now, like I said before, and like you probably already know, this crypto market is bad. Bitcoin is down 65%. Ethereum is down 70%. Even our beloved garlic coin is down almost 100%. Which one of you invested in garlic coin? So that's the bad news, but the good news is that you can take advantage of this. So the first thing you need to understand is what a capital gain or a capital loss is. So a capital gain or a capital loss is the difference between the cost basis, which is what a taxpayer paid for an investment, and the sale price, what they later earn when they sell it. So for example, if you buy $5,000 worth of Apple stock, that's your cost basis. You bought it at $5,000. If you then go and sell it at $7,500, then there was a difference there or a capital gain of $2,500. If though you were to buy $5,000 worth of Apple and you sold it, at 4,000, now you have a capital loss of 1,000. The only time that you're ever taxed on your investments is if you go to sell them and you actually realize that gain. So in the first example, if you were to sell your Apple stock at $7,500, you wouldn't be taxed on the 5,000, the cost basis that you put in, you would only be taxed on that 2,500 and a capital gains tax. And while in the second example, you will have lost $1,000. You also get to write that off as a capital loss on your taxes. And this is called tax loss harvesting. Tax loss harvesting is a strategy to lower current taxes paid to the US federal government by deliberately selling an investment at a loss. The investment can be any tradable security, stocks, bonds, shares in an exchange traded fund or an ETF, or even cryptocurrencies. Tax loss harvesting is relevant only for taxable investment accounts. So you can't use tax loss harvesting in your IRA or your 401k, but you can use it in a taxable account like a brokerage or a crypto exchange. Now this is absolutely phenomenal for those of you that do hold any crypto and who have taken major losses this year. And I'm gonna explain that in a second. But first, it's very important that you understand what the wash sale rule is. Now traditionally, before crypto, this tax loss harvest thing was totally normal and something that people did with their equities portfolio. Portfolio. So now obviously if that stock was down say 50% or something from the beginning of the year Then who wouldn't take advantage of this right if you could just sell the stock at that loss of a couple thousand dollars or something Be able to get tax advantages on it and then right away after selling that stock just buy it right back again That would be the smart thing to do in that situation Well the IRS and the government are a little smarter than that and they made this thing called the wash sale rule and basically it prohibits it's people from being able to do that. So 30 days before this sale and 30 days after this sale, you're technically not allowed to buy that same stock or anything even extremely similar to that stock. Now the good news for you crypto holders is there is no wash sale rule on cryptocurrency at least as of 2022. Although cryptocurrency trades must be reported on tax returns as capital losses or capital gains, the IRS still considers cryptocurrency a property rather than a security. So the wash sale rule does not apply. So like I said before, this is just huge. So if you bought Bitcoin or something at the beginning of the year and now it's down 20, 30, 50%, then tax loss harvesting is something you definitely should be considering. So what I did was I sold pretty much all of my cryptocurrency at a loss, somewhere near $50,000 or so. And then within that same day, I went ahead and bought all of my positions right back in. So now what the IRS will see is that I 
did a taxable event of selling my crypto, and so they'll just see that I lost my $50,000 this year in the crypto market. Now, the really cool thing about capital losses is that they can offset capital gain. That means that if I made $50,000 of capital gains in the stock market that would normally get taxed, instead, since I have that $50,000 loss, I sell my stocks, get that capital gains with, without having any taxes whatsoever, and that's the way you kind of game the system. And not only can capital gains losses offset capital gains, but if the losses exceed the gains that year, the investor could also use use the remaining capital loss balance to offset personal income. Now I'm in no way a tax professional, so I definitely think that you should look into this a little bit deeper with your CPA, but what I've seen in research is that you can offset your personal income up to about $3,000, and so you just get a tax refund of that amount. Either way you slice it, since there's no wash sale rule for cryptocurrency, I don't see why anyone wouldn't take advantage of this. You just sell what you're comfortable selling and then buy it right back at pretty close to the same price probably, and then save on those taxes. Now with tax loss harvesting, the losses must first offset any gains of the same type. So it'll go there first before taking away any of your personal income. Now since we are already in the middle of December, you have until the end of December to do anything within this tax year that's going to go on your taxes that we're going to file in the next couple months. This is something a lot of wealthy people are used to doing, and anytime you can shelter or defer some taxes, it's usually a good idea, but make sure you do as much research as possible and talk to actual tax professionals, because your situation may be different, you may be in a different tax bracket, based on what stage you're in. And also, this time may serve as a good time for you to reassess and figure out where is it that you actually want that money. This may be a good time to take a loss in that asset, which will help out your taxes, but it may also be a time for you to be able to say that maybe you don't really want to be in that coin or even in that asset class and maybe you reallocate that money towards something that you believe in a little bit more. I know for me as far as cryptocurrency I'm staying very very safe really sticking to mostly Bitcoin, a little bit of Ethereum. I do like Cardano. I also still like Chainlink, Polygon, and Cosmos. But honestly, right now, I'm not throwing a lot of money into the crypto market. I'm kind of watching to see what's gonna happen because I do think it's gonna drop a bit more. And I like the positions that I already have since I've been invested in crypto for the past five years or so. But if I do put any more money in right now, it's very, very safe, pretty much mostly Bitcoin and very, very little into the other ones. As always, thanks for watching. Professor G, out.